I'm Andy Newcomb, and I'm a founder and managing partner of Mission OG. I think the biggest lesson for me that I've learned being part of startup companies and then even into the growth phase is you have to be incredibly honest with yourself about what the market's telling you. People will have a propensity to hear things that they want based on what they've already done. So a company may have established a certain market position, hear something and say, hmm, I just heard that, we're on the right track. When if they really peel back um, you know, the envelope a bit, you'd hear that mm, they said yes in some areas, but no in others. And if they said no in other areas, it's enough that maybe you should go in another direction. I've seen a lot of people make a lot of moves based on sort of a piece of what they heard and not the whole story. And so I think you have to be incredibly honest about the degree at which a client, whether it's a consumer or whether it's a business, is really willing to move forward with your product. And so that ability to listen and actually be honest, I think, is incredibly valuable. The other thing I think is really important is <clears throat> how much pain do you actually solve with your solution? Um, so if it's a business, is it something that's going to drive uh, a really meaningful cost save for them or a huge revenue opportunity? It may seem like it is. You know, the absolute number might be $500,000 a year and you may think that's enough for them to move this to the top of the, the list and they're going to implement your solution. But if they got 10 other things that are going to save them a million dollars a year, it's not going to rate. So you really have to have the knowledge of if you're going to go through this, you're going to attack a marketplace, does it really make a difference for your end client? We learned really early on that if we wanted to compete with a bank or another third party uh, provider of payments, that we'd be in a much better place if what we offered was a total package. One of the first industries that we were successful in is the auto industry. Um, they had a pretty archaic system uh, and a dealer network of rewarding incentives to their dealer salespeople through the issuance of paper checks. Very cost and efficient and Toyota corporate would have to manage this whole program. Um, you know, we thought just make it electronic, put it on a card, put a Toyota brand on it, and that's the solution. And certainly from a sort of financial perspective, that saved them a lot of money. It was great. But the real big difference was in creating a total solution around that payment and communicating and marketing it so that you drove more activity beyond just solving the payment problem, how to communicate the program better. Because when you have the ability to pay somebody, you're at that point where you're the one distributing that, that sort of monetary good. People are paying attention, they're listening, they're reading. But you might not know that there's a special that month. You know, you could be too busy, you're not, you're not tuning into the right channels. But if you're getting an email alert, an SMS alert, if you're going to a website that's branded, that has all the information on the program, maybe there's a contest, maybe there's a quiz, maybe there's a game, you're more engaged. And if you're more engaged, the chances are you're going to do better in the program. So there are other ways to drive activity. And we started to uncover what those ways were by asking them, what are your other problems? What are you really looking to solve? Not just, can I reduce the cost of your payment? And ultimately, it's that next step that can make you the difference maker in an industry. And that same process is what got us into nine or 10 other verticals. And what made us successful as a company is that approach of, let's go beyond just what seems like the core need here and figure out if there's something else we can package, because that can make the difference.